What is up everyone? Welcome back. This is DHTV and today is Monday so we're going to be unboxing and taking a closer look at a special edition video game and today we've got Tomb Raider the definitive edition for the PlayStation 4. Let's get started. <laughs> All right, so this is Tomb Raider, the definitive edition for the PlayStation 4. It's also available for the Xbox One and PC. I'll give you links in the description down below so you can check those out, get reviews, and pick it up if you would like as well. So we're just taking a quick look around the box here. You can see the back side of the box, pretty standard, a few gameplay images. And then down here, it just tells you what you're gonna get inside. And the main thing with this definitive edition is that you will receive an exclusive art book with never before seen concept art so that's what it's saying right here now one thing I found really interesting with this game in particular for the PS4 is that it's running at full 1080p at 60 frames per second and I was told that the Xbox one version it didn't quite meet those specifications but I did play the Xbox one version in the store and I didn't notice much of a difference in terms of the graphics which are insane on this game now this is the art book it's actually a built-in art book with your case your game cartridge basically it's got the art book at the front a few pieces of paperwork which uh, one of them has a code you can use but we'll go through some of the pages of the art book here as I talk about some features as I said the graphics on this game are insane in particular the hair and the eyes you can almost see the individual strands of hair moving in the wind as you run around and as you're jumping the face and eyes almost look real and basically the cutscenes and the gameplay are very similar. Now one thing I really enjoyed about this game was that it had voice control features and I thought this would be a little bit gimmicky and maybe it was but uh, basically you'd be able to just call out gun or bow or map and it would pull up your gun or your bow or your map and I found this useful when you get into those tight gun battles. It plays a lot like uh, Drake's Fortune, which uh, I personally really enjoyed. Now alongside the game, you're gonna get some DLC downloadable content. You're gonna get an extra tomb to raid, different outfits, another multiplayer map. And one thing I really enjoyed about this game in particular was that you can actually upgrade Laura's guns, her abilities, and various things like that. So collecting treasures and collecting stuff, shooting animals, getting your food, everything like that is really important to build up your character and to upgrade your weaponry and your skills. So if you're interested in games like this, if you've never played a Tomb Raider game that plays a lot like Drake's Fortune, as I said, definitely check it out. As I said, the links will be in the description down below. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. It really helps me out and helps support me. And it lets me know you guys like what I'm showing you. Also subscribe for more videos like this one. Every Monday, I post another unboxing of a special edition game or console or something to do with gaming in a special edition format. So if you're interested in that, subscribe. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.